Yeah, it's it's uh, it's interesting. Growing up, uh, the congregation where I grew up, Sherbrooke Mennonite Church, uh, we had a, a very uh, eth- uh, ethnic, in the uh, South American sense of the word, congregation. And I think generally it was a blue-collar church, uh, for lack of a better description. Uh, people who are used to working with their hands and, and using their physical bodies. And, and I think at the time, then the programs, even the, the messages coming from the pulpit were geared toward that and, and were, were, for lack of a better word, quite simple or simplified. And, uh, and I think as, uh, as the next generation grew up and was becoming more educated, I, I think there was a certain restlessness that, that came from uh, the pews in terms of wanting to be challenged more intellectual and wanted to maybe have a more of a, a theological a debate on things. And, and so some issues at, at which once had been black and white were suddenly becoming a colorful shade of gray and, and uh, which, uh, which in some, some, for some may have become overly complex and, and it maybe stirred up some, some uh, difficult feelings. But it, growing up with that, that shift for me, it was it was a great challenge because it allowed us to to be relevant in our discussions and and ask those tough questions and feel like it was a safe place to ask those questions. And we noticed that uh, whenever uh, one of the pastors would move on, the pastoral search committee was focused on uh, finding somebody to come into the pulpit that would raise the bar, if you will, from a, maybe an intellectual standpoint. And so some of the, the sermons were becoming more cerebral. And, uh, and, and the beauty of it was it, it didn't ostracize people. It just helped, helped uh, I think, challenge the discussions that were taking place within the context of the congregation. And then also challenged us always how to be more relevant in the working out of what we are now discussing. There was always a good tension between... Um, what we're thinking now and and what we're reading about and now what's the practical application of this and how does this affect and I think in some regards then it, it allowed us to rather than look inward and and see how does the church meet the needs of the congregation to look around and how does the church placed in this context in this setting meet the needs of the community around us and uh, recognizing as as the years went on that that community was changing significantly in its ethnic uh, diversity that the church needed to um, alter its programming and alter its focus and become more relevant to the neighbors around around us so it's been an exciting process seeing that now I've been removed from the the Vancouver area for quite some time so now how does that apply to our work at, at camp I think uh, for us the challenge is to, to see camp ministry as a viable option to our many uh, ethnic, uh, like the different ethnic backgrounds from our congregations, recognizing that even the word camp has a different connotation for different backgrounds and, and realizing, okay, how do the values that we espouse for Camp Squia um, translate into other languages, into other cultures, and how do we make sure that when somebody comes to, to camp that they can get the experience that they're needing. I think MCPC is working hard at making sure we're culturally relevant. And a lot of that comes with the, uh, the I think, the academic uh, influence in our members. I think our committees um, in, in the various uh, ministries of the conference are, are finding different professionals uh, influencing those committees. And so I think we're becoming sharper in that regards. Um, and yet at the same time, we recognize the value of, of every participant and, and the strengths and, and areas that, that those who have maybe given up the opportunity to, to challenge their minds in a higher setting can, can serve in so many other practical ways as well. And I think our conference does a good job of blending the two and embracing all things.